right, Stampers? It's Liz Holloway from StampersPlus.com and welcome to Broadcasting Tutorial Tuesday. Today, in this video, it's going to show you how to create these fla beautiful flowers from our uh, in-color um, cardstocks. This is the Island Indigo Calypso Coral and Summer Star Fruit. Uh, fruit. I know that a lot of people don't like using these colors, but I thought it would be a nice, bright, cheery way to show off these colors. And what I'm doing is I stamped uh, under that, a card that says, For my wonderful mother, uh, this set is from the, the Delightful Dozen. So let's get started. What you need is remnants of cardstocks in various shades. Now here, for my sample, I'm using the Island Indigo. What you're going to do is you're going to uh, apply embossing putty over your cardstock. This will allow uh, any dust, extra dust particle from sticking onto your cardstock. That's stuff that you don't want. So what I am going to do now is take my um, Whisper White Craft ink pad and I'm going to stamp it onto my cardstock. Put that aside. You're going to use your white embossing powder and you're going to sprinkle it on and shake off the excess. And then you're going to heat this up. Now you want to heat it until the white uh, powder starts to melt. As you can see, you know, zoom in a little bit closer. As you can see, it's white powder right now. And then as it starts to heat up, it will go glossy. Can you see that? See that how it's just really glossy? I'm going to zoom right back out again. Okay, what I love about this set is that it actually comes with its own framelits. This, uh, this is called from the Secret Garden and it's got its own uh, framelits to go with the flowers. Each petal is different so then you can see where it actually goes. Bring out my big shot. And hopefully you guys can see this. This is right back out again. Okay, so with this big shot and the little framelits, you see how this angle is a very peculiar, uh, kind of like an odd size. If you place it right on top of your stamp image, it actually is uh, the correct outline. So what I'm going to do is I plan to place it on my platform with the acrylic uh, base on the bottom. Then I am going to apply another acrylic on top, ensuring that this piece doesn't move. So I'm going to run that through the big shot. And when you're popping it out, it cuts out. You can freehand cutting it, but I don't advise that because it's so easy just to use the uh, framelits. Okay, so getting back, I'm gonna zoom right back in. For the colors, I'm gonna use tone on tone. And what I'm going to do is actually squeeze the lid together so that I would allow a pool of ink right onto the lid. Take your aqua painter and grab the ink. And what you're going to do is just lightly touch the edges, ensuring that there is lots of ink colors going through 
onto the cardstock because you want it to be more prone and dark. And just applying ink on each petal. And that gives you that 3D look effect. Now you can add more flowers if you want, but what I have already done was I created, uh, I already cut and stamped and cut and colored each of the flower I have done uh, for the sake of the video just to, you know, to speed things up a little faster. So when it dries, when it dries, it will actually look like this in just the different colors. And when you're applying um, tone on tone, be sure to just clean off your aqua painters just by brushing it onto a scrap paper. Okay, so what I already have done was I already pieced my cardstock onto the, my base, my uh, matte card stock onto the base card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up all these flowers right on the bottom right corner. Starting with my big flower. And you know that your card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So don't go outside your perimeter. This one, maybe what I can do is do that. And uh, quite often I try to lay things out before starting. That looks good. Okay, so I, I like that layout. right back out again so you guys can see. Okay, adding that there. And then this, if you want to pop this up too. I just find that when you're popping up um, things like flowers and stuff like that. It makes much nicer card. Okay, so now what I have done was I already pre-cut with the, uh, the, the leaf and I'm going to sponge it with the Always Artichoke ink and just sponge the edges like so. Now these have vines, so what I did was I ended up doing, it was uh, actually drawing the, um, the vines into the leaves with the marker pens. And how I did that was I'm going to take my marker and on the fine point, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a center line and then make little vines on the leaves because leaves don't complain they actually have little little vines on them so I'm gonna do that quickly okay and I've already done the second one so what I'm gonna do is actually attach this one just underneath Maybe not. Let's see where it is. Go attach it right up here. So I would glue this down. In my case, I'm going to tape it. Okay. And I'm going to 
tape this side too. And just curl it up if you want. Okay, so then I'm going to stamp for my wonderful mother in basic black. Line this up to my grid line and snap it for my wonderful mother. And voila, that's done. Now, with my okay. extra piece, what I end up doing was I accidentally stamped too close to the um to my other images and I end up cutting it off. So rather than wasting this piece, all I'm going to do is just cut this part and save the middle and then I'm going to pop it up onto the um, main image just to give it a little bit more depth. And when you're cutting this, you want to move your your paper and not your scissors just makes your scissors go a little bit smoothly when you're um, cutting. See how I'm moving my paper. Okay. And again, what I'm going to do is not, because I still want the more tone, uh, darker tone color, I'm going to squeeze my ink pad, open it up. And apply the, col uh, the calypso coral onto here. Okay. Don't need the excess ink. So I'm going to remove it off. down. Now, to finish off, add a pop dot in the center and then right here. And what I end up doing was adding pearls to the center of each flower because I love jewels. I think it makes it so much interesting when it comes to adding a little bit of class to it. And there you go. So hope I hope you enjoyed that video and stay tuned for more. Okay, bye now.